Yeah, I can request Professor Arun Sasubhaji. Yeah, th thank you, Professor Surappa and uh, Professor Sendhil Kumaran. I think it's very exciting that uh, Anna University, which is one of the institutions selected as institutions of eminence, has been doing an eminent act in terms of uh, having such a hackathon uh, when lockdown is there, when COVID-19 virus uh, action is going on on one side and on the other side, this kind of hackathon is being planned. Uh, so my congratulations and best wishes for Dr. Santil Kumaran, Professor Surapa, and my friend uh, Professor Kannan from IIT Bombay, who has also joined here in this particular program. I thought that Shavin Arunan and many others uh, who are there part of this uh, entire exercise. Uh, Anna University, with its uh, varied departments from uh, engineering and technology to pharmacy and bioinformatics and biotechnology, I think it's well suited for taking up an uh, innovative challenge in terms of uh, bioinformatics and uh, bio solutions. It's very important because this whole COVID 19, if you look at uh, it, has more to do with uh, biological sciences than uh, our engineering science. And therefore, the right step has been taken by pharmaceutical department of Anna University in order to organize this. AICT, on its part, uh, we have an experience of uh, conducting Smart India hackathons for the last uh, four years. In fact, uh, we have conducted already three successful hackathons all over India, uh, involving several government departments, uh, industry bodies, as well as a uh, lot of uh, MSMEs and startups. Therefore, our young students from engineering curricula are able to provide innovative out-of-the-box solutions to these problems. And uh, the number has been growing, swelling. In fact, two and a half lakh students gave their ideas and we had to shortlist only 10,000 in the last hackathon. The fourth one was almost about to be held when this uh, 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 endemic uh, started spreading and therefore there was a lockdown and therefore we had to close this. In AICT on its part, uh, our MHRD's innovation cell located in AICT, we decided to have a similar hackathon like what we have been doing now and two editions are already done. The first one was uh, in terms of uh, what is known as Ideathon. Ideathon was getting solutions for uh, corona related uh, things. The second one was on Samadhan. Samadhan is the one where a uh, lot of problems related with, again, COVID-19 are going to be solved by students. And both these hackathons had more than about uh, 5,000 entries. And we had to shortlist uh, one round, second round, and finally prize winners have given prizes. And not only AICT gave prizes, but a lot of industry came forward for uh, providing the prizes. So in nutshell, we have been organizing hackathons for one aspect or the other, and this lockdown period is being used for uh, solutions for the COVID-19 itself. Uh, and, uh, and this is being done now by Anna University in association with IIT Bombay also, and AICT is also happily involved in this. Now let me go into the other aspects. You rightly pointed out that the Anna University has created uh, uh, the splitters uh, for uh, ventilators, etc. But as soon as uh, this uh, endemic broke out, we started getting uh, emails from different variety of stakeholders that they want to contribute in some way or the other. And uh, very interestingly, right from a small college at to the university to various levels, I think starting from using their chemistry departments for creating new type of sanitizers on one side, to creating masks using uh, 3D printing, to PCC, to developing ventilators using as uh, as cheap and low cost items like for example the wiper motor of the car or some motor of the engine they have used a variety of ways of uh, creating ventilators on long term basis where multiple patients can be treated so i think the nation has come forward with solutions of variety of types but when given an opportunity to students to showcase that talent uh, I, I think it will further add value to what they have been already doing. One more thing which uh, we did during this entire uh, episode was within four days of uh, the breakout and the colleges being closed somewhere around March end, uh, there were lots of frantic calls from several students from different colleges stating that uh, the college uh, has been closed, the hostel is closed and we have been asked to leave the, ho the hostel and go to our homes. 
or uh, there is no food somewhere hostel is running but there is no canteen in somewhere uh, student is isolated and therefore feeling uh, psychologically deprived uh, of uh, normal living and therefore uh, having some psychological issues and problems somewhere medicine and healthcare was required i think variety of problems came up and they all started writing to us so within those four, first four days our team put in a platform which is called as helpline it's exclusively meant for covid 19 and on one side students requiring such kind of help are asked to come on the platform on the other side uh, we said colleges philanthropists social organizations voluntary organizations who are willing to support and help should come on to the same platform and we will do some kind of a match making in the same district same town same city etc and within 2 hours of the launch we had some 3000 students who needed help but the number of people who are ready to give services came to 16000 i think that is the strength of india so if there are problems for 3000 students there are 16000 people who are willing to support uh, i think that was a phenomenal uh, success which we enjoyed in the, in the first two days of the lockdown itself uh, then uh, you rightly talked about uh, skills uh, development of uh, solutions to the problems uh, i think we had started a platform called neet about 3 4 months ago which is national educational alliance for technologies under this uh, this is a solution where people can charge money but the blind review then subsequent uh, investigation of the the actual product this is an ai based uh, artificial intelligence based learning system where students are tested and then guided and it's a guided learning for students such platforms were already created by ai city with the help of mhrd but they were all on chargeable basis and secondly for every four seats one seat was free but we found that till lockdown the number of takers was hardly 3000 4000 but as soon as this lockdown happened many more students came forward but more interestingly when we appealed to them that in the normal course you may be charging a, a particular product but this is a crucial time when students are free why don't you make entirely the platform free and i'm very happy out of 16 companies five companies and about 15 products came out for free services and uh, the number jumped from about just 3 4000 to 45000 in a matter of 3 days not leaving that any other companies which were not there on the need platform they also came forward and said we have a product which is similar to that uh, they are all niche products in the area of ai machine learning 3d printing and a variety of skill development uh, you know tools they all said that we will give free of cost for the next 2 3 months uh, and that is how the number of hits you cannot imagine mhrd has different uh, platforms and there are people coming on to the, the platform because of uh, the lockdown everything is now online 78 lakh hits were there in just a matter of one week uh, i think there is phenomenal interest in the students to learn and what we often call as self learning and lifelong learning is being really practiced by students although the study was not fully covered many faculty members continued to have online courses and classes for the respective students uh, people were encouraged to use swayam and swayam prabha during this time uh, including the minister took a very special meeting for uh, enlarging the scope of this uh, and this way in a variety of ways we started operating lastly i would like to just mention about uh, workshops which we have used effectively because uh, all our workshops for faculty development programs in the atul academy in niche areas or on the other side student induction program and universal human values workshops on the other side or uh, workshop for uh, examination reforms where uh, we talk about not just self learning but higher order of learning and testing of that from taxonomy starting from understanding of the subject application analysis synthesis problem solving creativity how do you set such question papers all these were live workshops where face to face teaching learning used to take and uh, we couldn't have held such workshops during this lockdown period but for use of technology then whether it is uh, microsoft uh, team whether it is uh, webex platform whether it is uh, zoom 
whether it is any other platform which is available at our disposal, we started engaging faculty development program and started with just about 50, but we didn't know how effective it would be and it graduated to 200, 300, and now most of the programs are attended by 1,000. Today, before coming onto this platform here uh, for this hackathon, I had uh, inaugurated another examination reforms workshop conducted by Professor Ashok Shetter, and there are 1,000 plus participants in that. I think uh, we have started using technology very effectively for teaching learning processes, and many solutions are going to come forward through this particular engagement. I wish all the participants uh, all the very best and uh, faculty members who have put in so much of effort during such lockdown period. Uh, congratulations to them and best wishes to them as well. And uh, our university as well for uh, doing better and better research and come out uh, with flying colors. Thank you very much.